So welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're back today, episode uh, 11, the Double Sticks episode. Uh, and we're taking on Aston Villa today. It's 16th against 17th. It's pretty embarrassing, to be honest, because we, we still haven't won a game. The only other team who hasn't won a game is Southampton. <laughs> Even Leicester, who are bottom, have won a match. Um, so yeah, this is a big match because we have to win it. I I'm sick and tired of drawing it's not good enough um so yeah we're gonna get dive into the action very very shortly um aston villa are basically uh, an interesting challenge they say they're a very balanced approach and equally comfortable in and out of the possession that means they can defend or attack in response to whichever game situations they're in magical uh, and defensively they'll defend with a low block but they're not playing well three defeats in the last three games and, uh, yeah, the usual pre-match training. I mean, maybe today we can go for some shot. You know what? Let's do that. Mix it up. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen the latest news. Where's the one we had from the last game? We did have a, a very... Uh, there it is! If you guys haven't seen the last episode, you missed an absolute belter. I won't ruin it, but that's, that's what happened. They even said that was not expected with a laughy face. Uh, and Matthias Delict was your man of the match so oh, isn't that nice uh, we've got a new email from the assistant manager just telling me nonsense that i don't need to know i don't need to know about it mate it's not relevant unless a player's injured um but yeah aston villa today just gonna dive into it not messing around remember these matches are long i'm playing 10 minute halves by the end of these games i have to go take a shower because i'm sweating so badly it's madness uh, but i think today we will mix it up a little bit I'm quite intrigued to try Casemiro because I'm kind of noticing playing him as like a deep playing playmaker isn't a bad idea. And I'm trying to get as many like pluses in the team to see if it makes them play better. I don't know. I don't... I never know the mechanics of these games of what they actually do. Like you can say they do stuff, but do they really? You know, do you notice a difference? It's like when you play Master League. At the start, your team's dreadful. They feel awful. By the second season... I don't know. However, they, they put the mechanics in the game. They just feel better and now they're more responsive. They're quicker. They listen to you. All right. Anyway, let me pick a lineup. I'll return in literally a second. All right, folks. So this is it. The, we're making some changes here. That's right. You've seen that big old Anthony. I still don't know how you do this. I'm not a skill guy. Okay. I, I think they look ridiculous half the time. So don't expect me to do a bunch of skills. I'm very old school. I just like to play football and try and score. Um, but yeah, people keep telling me the controls to do the spinner Rooney. And I, I never remember it. Uh, but we are going to start him today. Why not? Why not? Um, Hoyland, of course, up top. Rashford's going to be on the left. Although I was going to go Rashford or Ganacho. Hmm. I don't know. Well, oh, he's a winger. You know what? We're going to go Ganacho. We'll start Ganacho today. Uh, Fernandez behind Hoyland. Mainu, Casemiro, Yoro, and Martinez today. I'm going to keep switching up the centre backs. I probably should start Harry Maguire at some point. Uh, Luke Shaw on the left. I was going to play Malassia, but then I'm like, we're taking on Villa. Let's play an actual proper left back who's played. Although Shaw doesn't play, does he? To be fair, he warms the bench in real life and gets injured. Uh, then we've got Dallow on the right. We'll rest uh, Mazzari and then Unana in goal. Now, regarding the team itself, as you can see, if we put him actually as a winger, let's try that out. Every single player today has a plus side. A full plus team. Wingbacks, stoppers, we're playing a sweeper keeper, deep line playmaker, box to box playmaker, poacher with some wide and uh, wingers. Okay. I'm really intrigued to see if that actually does anything and if the team plays any better. So we'll find out. Anyway, I will see you guys there. It's going to be rainy, apparently. We're going to play in the rain because why not? It happens in real life. And I will see you guys in the match. Remember, exactly the same settings as before, just so you guys don't think I'm duping you. Everything is on classic 50s across the board. All right. And we're playing on EA Sports Game Cam. And I'm using these as my settings. But remember, I'm also using eSIM's camera mod. So you can't get those increments um, the same on console. But anyway, I'll see you in the match at Villa Park. Here we go. So you join us live at Villa Park for this big match at the bottom of the table. 16th against 17th. 
A lot of pressure on Ten Hag, but he has said in the media, yes, look, the media talk a lot of lies. They make up fairy tales. We are a great team. We are in transition. It's a process. And you need to trust the process, okay? And today I'm going to get wet because I didn't bring an umbrella. Well, that's a shame, Ten Hag, but you'll be fine. That nice bald head will be looking very shiny. Um, and there he is. He heard me. Fantastic. I need to actually change his outfit because he does look quite boring. Uh, but we'll take a look at the two teams today, of course, as they shake the hands of the officials. And hopefully they'll have a good, a good game. Ah, and when are we going to be able to play as referees in these games? Would you guys love to be a referee mode? It'll probably be quite boring unless they, they actually make the AI play a certain way. There's a lot of fouls. It's aggressive. You're having to whip out yellows and handballs and things like that. But we'll take a look at Aston Villa here. They are playing a 4-2-3-1 with, uh, of course, Martinez in between the sticks. Got House and Torres at the back. Nana. No, not that Unana, it's the other one. He's a big bugger. Ollie Watkins, of course, up top. Ross Barkley sitting just behind him. Uh, and they'll have some pace down the flanks as well. Manchester United, 4-3-3. Rasmus Hoyland has five goals in his last three games. A man to watch. Lenny Euro comes back into the team today with Delic dropped to the bench. Casemiro replaces Ugarte. Anthony gets a rare start as well. And Ganacho over Rashford. So the referee blows. And away we go. Nice and wet. Beautiful conditions. Well, these, honestly, the rain is the perfect time um, to just ping the ball around, um, you know, in the conditions they are. You're never going to have a problem with the ball moving nice and slick. And honestly, test the goalkeeper out. Now, Aston Villa, normally when I play them, or I have played them, they've been very passive, as you can see. They're not very aggressive, so I'm expecting them to give us a lot of the ball today. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it works out for them. But uh, right now, we're just bombing it down the flank. That's a good play there from House. But uh, then he decides I'm going to give it straight to Anthony. A bit of a shocking pass there. Maynu. Ooh, ref. Was that a late one? He said play on. It's going to be Bruno Fernandes testing the arms early of Martinez. Also, let me know about the camera if you guys prefer this camera. I actually don't mind it, to be fair. It's just getting my bearings right. Here is Bundia. Where are you going, son? Squares it in sight. It's Bogard. Uh, Mainu's already injured. Fantastic. Well, that's not going to be good. Looks like he's going to be coming off after six minutes. We're having a laugh here. Bundia again. I did make the icons a little bit larger, whether you guys know that or not, just so I know I can see the uh, the pass bar more. It's going to give a handball there, but uh, play the advantage for United. Well, hang on, look at this. I say, um, Anthony's got loads of space here. Lays it inside, looking for Rasmus, who's on five form at the moment. I mean, Aston Villa aren't playing well. If there's a time to beat them, that's the day. Casemiro diving in. Well done. Stay on him. Here is uh, Matson. Good bit of acceleration there. It's the cut back inside. Barkley. You always want to walk it in. There's a chance. Good block. Clear the way with the breasts there. That was an interesting pass. Ganacha. Anthony. Well, at the moment, I'll tell you what, if Aston Villa keep pushing this many players up, they're going to be leaving more holes than Swiss cheese. It's uh, Nadalovic. Nunana. Flicked on. That's a good play there, Martinez. I do like to put Martinez, etc., as a stopper just because they'll, they'll, they'll shut the players down a lot more quickly. Um, ooh, we'll try some trickery there. Then if you're just playing him as a defender. Yeah, pretty, pretty slow start to the game, this. Bundia. Nana. He's it up the line. Well done, Luke Short. Dink it. Comes Ganacho. All right, take your time. Mainu seems to have recovered from that knock. Hoyland. Dinks it out wide. 
Ganacho showing you his skills. Oh, that's a crap ball. It's a crap ball, Ganacho. How much are we paying yet? Oh, well done, Manu. Pokes it through. Looking for Hoyler. Not going to get there. Not enough pace on the pass. Actually, too much pace on the pass. Forget that. Now Torres now. It's going to be comfortable for Man United to win it back. It was Ramsey. Man United still looking for that first win of the season. It's got to happen today, surely. Can't keep dropping points and uh, fighting for relegation. That's not the name of the game. Well done, Casemiro. I said, I haven't been that impressed with Aston Villa. Today, we really should win this. Um, is he going to get to that? No, he's not. Fernandez. Come to it. Dallo, there's the overlap. Fires it high, back post. I should have drilled it, shouldn't I? Double tap. Double tappy tappy. Aston Villa's chance to bring it forward. 21 minutes played here. Still goalless. Really uh, hasn't been any real chances. I mean, Bruno had one early, tested uh, Martinez. But apart from that, once again, look at the space here for Anthony. They're leaving him all on his own. Time and time again, Rasmus is there. Yeah, we're going to have to exploit that left flank every single time. Aston Villa players just leaving him on his own. Bundia. Barkley. Casemiro, yeah, wasn't going to do that, but it works either way. Anthony. Bruno, oh, that's a good challenge. Bundia again. I mean, this could be a turning point for both of these teams this season. Get a result today. A little bit of breathing room. And Casemiro stayed with him. But yeah, I think, I think this is Casemiro's best role. Um, oh, come on, ref. Play on. I mean, no booking at least. But I think his best role definitely is a deep line playmaker. He just gets more involved in the action. Just to take the free kick. Cleared away. Bruno trying to get those long legs up. Wanted the foul. Referee said, get on with it. It's a physical sport, son. All right, we're going to go attacking. Why are we playing so passive? His house. Nice little ball up the line. Looking for Watkins there. Matson, Is he on? He is on. Manu. Good little header. Anthony. Bruno Fernandes. Ganacho. What on earth was that? I press that. I press R1 a lot. And then all, all, all R1 does after time is just make you do that. Right there. Oof. We'll come out to half an hour played. I mean, this is one of those matches. It's been kind of boring. I'm not going to lie. It does happen. It does happen. And dear. I know what they're trying to look for. Nadelovic delivers it in. Watkins with a header. No chance. And that is Ten Hag. Probably not too happy with what he's seen so far in this game. We need to see more from the team. He's not good enough. Anthony. All right, let's try this. Bang. See, that's a, that's a... See, look at that touch. Dodgy as a... Dodgy as a pigeon. Uh, Anthony. Bang. Lovely. Still going. Everyone's watching him. Delivers it. <laughs> what on earth was that? That was meant for Ganachi Yachi. Rasmus, you want to come to the ball? Maynard. And I know R1, L1. A lot of you guys tell me I, I'm constantly asking my players to do that. So, yeah, don't worry about it. You have to. If you don't ask them to move, they don't move anywhere. Ganacho, we know the overlaps on. Into the box. Bruno Fernandez. It wasn't a great shot, but have another goal. Oh, Aston Villa. Sixes and sevens back there, to be honest. All over the place. Matson. That's where we can we can walk around Aston Villa, to be honest. I said they're not great. This is where we should be scoring goals. Doesn't mean that we can't concede, though, does it? Barkley. Bundia. 
He starts again. Gets it back. Hold it. Nadelovic. Nice play. They have worked this well. They're still going here. Lay it back. And that's a good defensive block there from the boys at the back. Excuse me. I'm on a run. That is the worst throw I've ever seen in my life. Well, we're 40 minutes played. It's been rather timid, this match. Rather, rather timid. Matson. He'll stay with his man. Does deliver it in. Keepers. Well done, Unana. Quick. Get it out. Ooh, loose pass there. Luke Shaw. Try to win it himself. And then Mainu. Here comes Mainu again. He was looking for Anthony on the old left foot. Would have been a lovely pass if he did get to him. Bruno trying to win it now. Ramsey. Ramsey again. Villa using the wings when they can. It's a nice little turn there, wasn't it? Now he's cutting inside. Lays it up the line, but Yodo... I swear, Yodo is honestly solidifying his place uh, in this team. Uh, I, I'm, I'm tempted to just keep playing him. Very poor half, honestly. One of those boring halves we've had, I'll be honest with you. It's kind of Aston Villa's style, though. They're very passive. They're kind of just... Uh, just sitting back, and we're sitting back, and that's kind of how this game's gone. But we need more. We need more. Have a look at the stats. Not a whole lot. Three attempts to four. Pass accuracy's pants. I don't know. Maybe change it up a little bit. Hmm. We'll see in the second half. So, second half's off. And uh, there you go, Bruno. All we've done is given him a kick up the jacksey. Ten Hag said, Yes, if you want to go to Chuck E. Cheese, you have to play well. If you guys don't know what Chuck E. Cheese is, well, that's a place in America. So, yeah, the boys have certainly got to play better than they have been. Here we go. Watch this overlap. Not a great pass. I mean, it's not a great pass. It's wet. It's rainy. <sighs> you can't be doing stuff like that, boys. There's that beautiful view there of the Villa Park. I mean, we're still playing attacking. You know, we'll play normal. Let's go back to just the way we were. Yodo, stay with him. Here is Barkley now. Mainu, done very, very well. Anthony. Ants is away. Doing some trickery because he loves to. Bruno, nice turn. How's the finish? Good block from the defender. Man United look to start the half off lively. That's not a good ball. I'll tell you what, he's done brilliantly. Anthony. Rasmus. Oh, you had to just square it. Not a good ball there, was it? Gave it away. Ramsey now. We need a goal. We need a goal, boys. There's a chance. Bandia gets it out wide. Yodo trying to stay. There he is again. Yodo's just... I don't know if it's because Yodo's such a tall player, but... Yeah, the guy is... Um, He's a good player. Anthony winning a header. That's a rarity. And let's put that one right through the mixer. Win that on the touch. There's Dallo. Come on, boys. That final ball. Aston Villa, I told you, they're not, they're not great on this. I think it's because they play so... I don't know. They don't get too many players pushing forward. There's Yodo again. Come on, you Yodo. Really giving Ten Hag a, a tough time. Of who to pick. Here he is again. The guy is on a mission. Mainu. Ganacha. Oh, I was trying to go one way and then the other and embarrass myself. Pandia once more. I mean, I would say this is generally a more realistic match now. The, the pace of the game. The physics as well. Oh, missed that. Missed it. Barkley! No, no, always does that. Instead of saving it with that hand, save it with that one. Hmm? Don't know why they do that. Cross the body when your arm's right there. I'm not waving at you. A chance for the corner, though. We'll take a 1-0 today just to get the ball rolling. Fired in. Yodo once more. 
Bruno, get up. Missed it. Chance for uh, Aston Villa here. Barkley plays it square. Crowded out by numerous red shirts. Bugard. That's a loose pass. No, that's even looser, uh, Anthony. Ramsey, skip past Dallo. Does fire it in. It's a good looking ball. What's that for? Handball? I've absolutely no idea. I presume he's given a handball there. The ball's fired in once again. And United do get it away. And Casemiro says enough is enough. Anthony's going to chase this. Go on, Ants. Go on, son. Tough team to break down when you're not doing a whole lot. At the moment, Villa knocking it about. Smart play, Bandia. Almost got to try and read the pass, you know. Like that. Well done, Martinez. That's good play. No, 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 no. Good play, and then he give it away. Come on, wake up. Well done, Bruno. That's better. Rasmus, it's a good pass to Anthony. Has he got the legs? He's done well. Anthony lays it across, just put it in. Penalty ref, doesn't want to give it, mug me off. Madness. Anthony just forcing his way through. Right, is that is that the, the surge that we needed to wake us up It. Mainu. Rasmus. Ganacho, stay and go. Do whatever you need to do. Luke Shaw, it's not a bad ball. That's an interesting one. And that's a good pass back to Martinez. Ah, oh, what a chance that was. What a chance for Anthony. Just hit the ball next time, son. You scored that. You might start the next game. Dallow. Who's that? To? See, our passing today is absolute tripe. If you guys don't know what that means, you can guess. Pants. Barkley. And there's the problem. And you leave big holes like that. Watkins, not happening because I knew what he wanted to do. Wanted to get it on the old right foot. It didn't happen. Mainu. Luke Shaw. Now go. Wasting it, wasting it. 69 minutes played here. We're still goalless. Really hasn't been many chances. Ramsey inside again Bogart must be knackered with the amount of times he's had the ball well done Yodo good play mate now look at the switch Ganacho. <sighs> see that's where you need Bruno to play those long balls because Bruno has you know he's got the uh, the perks so he can play better balls like that Ganacho's going to be too floaty we're going to have to make changes the next time the ball goes off here. Bring on the, the likes of Rashford, maybe. I don't know what Xerxes going to do, to be honest. Casemiro looking for Anthony. Oh, well, that's a great header. Rasmus. Just, trying to just bundle his way in. Bogart. Ramsey again. That's good play, Bruno. Get on him. Stay on him as well. Casemiro done brilliant. It's not the best pass. Rasmus! I couldn't shoot it. He just... I was accelerating too much. But fractions, literally millimetres away from getting on the end of it to put it in the net. As I said, I'll take a 1-0. It will do right now. Casemiro. Anthony. Get in the box. Get that across. Casemiro again. Mainu. Bruno. No, you're not shooting from there, Bruno. They close you down way too quickly. Yeah, it's more it's more open now, isn't it? Back and forth, back and forth. Nana. I'm trying to just press them a little bit more at least. 12 minutes till the break, until half time. Not even the break. Plays it inside. Nadalovic. Hold him up, Martinez. Is it back? This is where they want to... Oh, is he on? Yeah, he is on, but uh, the finish was debatable. So, five changes, folks. That's right. Casemiro, 
That's the only one I saw. There's a lot more of them. Uh, Ganacho's coming off. Anthony's coming off. I'm going to have to take off Martinez because he's looking tired. And honestly, I'd rather play Yodo. So it's going to be Yodo and Maguire up top. Up top. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Yodo and Maguire centre-backs for the remaining seven minutes here. Here's Marcus Rashford. Yeah, those long balls, they never work. I don't know why I bother with them. I mean, I bother with them because I try and mix things up, you know, not do the same thing every time, although I do it a lot of the time. Oh, go on, Rashford. That's brilliant, mate. Look at the back post here. What a ball. Ahmad just didn't know what to do. He didn't know. He's inside. Begin. Four minutes to play. It's a loose pass. I mean, Aston Villa, I mean, look, Aston Villa honestly have played, you know, like they are down in 17th, 16th place, just like we have. Garte. All right, move, get out of the way, Ahmed. See? That's what I mean about the AI doing silly things. Well, go on then. Bruno! Oh, see, they're letting us shoot now. But it's not like I can score, so as much as I can say they let us run round them, I'm, st I'm still not scoring, am I? So it's not relevant. Well, that's a shocker. That's a shocker. Which way is the ref given this? Oh, he's given a handball. Right. Do we have a shot? I don't know how to shoot, I'll be honest with you. I'm a little bit rusty. I used to do the old L1 power drives with Van Persie back in the day. Maybe we can... Uh, rekindle some magic let's have a look all right so this is what i would normally do we're gonna have a shot here we'll see if this works it's gonna be bruno fernandez ah huh? i mean i'll be honest with you what's the goalie playing at <laughs> Well, let's be honest, it's not been a great game. It's been diabolical, to be honest. It's been one of the worst matches because Aston Villa are such a, just a passive team on this game for some reason. But this shot here, I mean, I don't know what Martinez is doing in goal. Maybe it was the swerve on it and he wasn't expecting it. I mean, who cares? It's in the back of the net. <laughs> just made a right tit to that one. We'll take it. So, 90th minute. I mean, is that, is that the goal that changes the season? We've still got three minutes to play till uh, the full-time whistle hit. There's Buendia now. I think is that they don't really change their whole concept. Even when they're a goal down, they still play like this. You know what I mean? Like, they should be playing with more attacking flair. Okay, let's not leave holes everywhere. Um, come on, stay on him. And that will do. And the referee blows for full time. Well, we'll take it. I mean, it's, as I said, not, not the most entertaining match. Not a ton of chances. And then at the end of the day, we just went for it and smashed it. We had six attempts, though, for Bruno. He was busy today. And he scored a, a free kick. But Martinez will be questioning his his bearings and probably try and fix those for the next game 90th minute <sighs> madness all right let's have a look at the match stats there it is six attempts to seven pass accuracy was rubbish today we didn't play well we didn't but as i said that might be the match that we needed just to get us through and actually win a game let's have a listen to the ten hag yes i have got time for three questions okay uh, yeah, mate, you got the result today, um, but Yoro didn't manage to do too many disruptions. Uh, do you expect players to become more proactive? What do you want about? Yoro had a fine game. Um, yes, look, yes, he plays well as a team, as uh, we don't need defensive miracles from our defence, okay? We didn't, we didn't concede, mate. Uh, yeah, mate, Casemiro's passing was on point today. How much did that contribute to the positive result? Um, yes, I thought he played well. He was running like clockwork with the oils from the Beauty and the Beast, with the lamps and the clocks. And he's a good player. I like Beauties and the Beasts. 
Uh, not much was going on in Anthony's way, seeing as he only got zero shots off today. Uh, were you disappointed with his performance? Yes, I spent 100 million on this player, and all he does is spin round and round like he's on a merry-go-round. Thank you. No further questions, thank you. That's all I need. So, ladies and gents, look at this. We are up to 14th in the table. It's nearly like real life, because we're 10th in real life. Um, but yeah, we now leapfrog ahead of Villa, Bournemouth, and Nottingham Forest. Our goal difference is minus two, which is funny, because it's minus two in real life. Uh, Leicester still bottom, then Southampton. Um, top of the table is Man City still. They've yet to lose a game. Arsenal, then Liverpool, and then Chelsea. If you have a look at the other results, uh, it was West Ham 2, Ipswich 0. Man City beat Fulham. Brentford beat Wolves. Crystal Palace lost to Liverpool. Brighton drew 2-2 to Tottenham. That's a good result. Chelsea 2, Nottingham Forest 1 as well. And there we have it, folks. So we will return. We're taking on Brentford, who we just took on um after i'm doing these recordings so yeah we're getting to um you know real life matches now but yeah let me know your thoughts as i said aston villa are just one of these teams there's something about their setup in this game they're not set up well like ea need to go in there or we need to go in there i'm not going to fix everyone's lineup that just takes too much time but i mean that way you do get different teams playing differently like porto match was a lot more active than that one it's football you know i can't dictate how these games will go i can't dictate how the ai is going to play um but we won i don't really care at the end of the day that's what we needed we got the job done and that'll do nicely there's harlan's impressive performance yeah that sounds like him um what about the team of the week do we have a team of the week uh, nana got the uh, man of the match apparently Fernandez, there he is, snatched a win with the old free kick. He says, is this real? Not the best performance, but there's still a lot to play for. Yeah, we didn't play well, mate. Um, there is the, the Premier League team of the week. We got none of them. Pathetic. Uh, anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it and subscribe for more and take care.